New AI tool that will help researchers write literature review is PO. As you can see, we can prompt it and it will give us the answer quickly using artificial intelligence. So here we have the title, we have even the abstract, we have the keywords, we have the introduction, the literature review, etc. So everything can be done at once and we are going to verify the information to what extent the information is accurate so that we can just fact check it. So here is the uh, full research paper. Here are some of the references so we can start checking those references to see whether they are real or not. So simple trick is that I can just uh, copy it and paste it to Google Scholar and check whether this is true or not. Or rather I will just uh, take it and give it to ChatGPT4 to verify whether these references are are really true or not. So I will just paste this to ChatGPT4 and I will ask it to verify uh, whether these references are real and provide their DOI if they are real. So the DOI is the digital object identifier. So this can help us verify the truthfulness and accuracy of these references. So here ChatGPT4 Evan is telling us that I don't have access to the data and this is a limitation of ChatGPT, even ChatGPT4. So here is just uh, helping us how we can verify these references. So we can just take the authors and check them against uh, the literature using Google Scholar. So still this doesn't show the real uh, resources. So there is high likelihood that we may not need to trust these references. They can be fake or fictional references. So here the verification says that the book health measurement is real. So this one uh, is verified. Whereas for the others, it's not. So they cannot confirm whether this specific article exists. This cannot confirm it, etc. So even by Googling it, we can see whether we can find these references. So the Likert scale advantages, I can just pick the title and then search for it. So again, this doesn't seem to exist. So there is high likelihood that this may not be a real reference, but still it manages to come up with some real references especially books. So this is uh, the uh, output of PO AI and this can be helpful with, with regard to writing a research paper, especially just as a draft, so just as a guideline. So it gives us this product-based approach to see how the paper can be written, we can see the structure, we can see uh, how uh, the wording is formatted, etc. But the, the, the references may not be true, so we cannot just copy and paste this. And even if we check this against uh, artificial intelligence, we may find that the AI score is high. So let's just go back to uh, this AI detector and analyze it. So this is AI Detector Pro. It will give us a score of this output. As you can see here, so there is high probability of AI, it's 98%. So this means that this uh, output cannot be copied and pasted to a research paper just like that. It is not human written. This can be a little bit solved by using the AI eraser, by paraphrasing, but still the information needs to be fact checked and needs to be rewritten manually by reading a real references and adding the right citations and even the references may not be true so there is high likelihood that this literature review is not reliable even chat gpt4 we can use the same prompt that we give to uh, po 
and we give it to ChatGPT4 and see what it will uh, give us. So this is ChatGPT4. So I will just paste the prompt here and let's see what ChatGPT4 will give us. So this one is real. I know this reference. So here it, it gives us a thematic uh, based literature review or narrative literature review. Maybe for systematic literature reviews, I don't think this may be helpful, especially using the Prisma or other protocols. This reference, I know that this one is real because I have been using it. Norman 2010. So all the references I think are real references, although they are old references because the cutoff point of chat GPT 4 is 2021 in terms of date. So these references are really real references so far. And uh, this one uh, again on ResearchGate. So this one is a real one. Chat GPT 4 seems to be doing some good job in terms of providing uh, real references this time because the issue of uh, chat GPT is that it provides fake references. So this one is good and again it's uh, really uh, providing it in a structured way. You can see the index citation and you can see the reference list. So it puts uh, each section along with its uh, references. It's like an annotated bibliography and it is formatted in APA style. You can even see the italics here for the journal names and the issue etc. So here they tells us that this is just an illustrative and not exhaustive. So this is just an example on how you can structure a literature review. But if we test the chat GPT-4 literature review again against AI score, like using Turnitin or the tool that I told you about, like AI Detector Pro, I think this time, so new report and then Let's see what we will find. And this is ChatGPT4. This is a subscription based ChatGPT. So here it says that there is 71% of AI. So it's a little bit lower compared to the former one. Uh, still, it shows some doubts with regard to uh, ChatGPT use and AI use. So this is in brief how you can use uh, Poe along with ChatGPT4 for, uh, for writing literature reviews. So Poe so far does not seem to provide real references, whereas ChatGPT4 at least pro it provides real references, although they are outdated. So it may not be aware of the current trend in terms of the literature. If we go to BART, this is a large language model by Google. So we can just take the same uh, prompt and we give it to Bard and see what it will give us in terms of the references and the EI score as well. So here the user interface of Bard is not really friendly because you keep waiting for these stars. It's good that you see the, the output being typed, at least psychologically speaking, uh, it will give you an assuring sense. Uh, so here you can see the there is there is no let's say uh, or there are no references it is just an essay and those references are provided at the end you see norman 2010 this is a real reference it was provided by chat gpt4 as well 2019 so this reference is really a recent one and even it provides us with the uh, link so let's see if we just open the link what we will find then is it real reference or a fake one? No, so this is real reference as you can see. So Bart seems to provide some real uh, references and even updated references like 2019, unlike ChatGPT4. Although the uh, organization seems to be like an essay format rather than a research paper format. So this is my evaluation of the three uh, AI boats like Poe, BARD and ChatGPT4. ChatGPT4 seems to be really uh, good in terms of literature reviews. 
and uh, BARD as well to some extent in terms of providing accurate references. But in terms of the AI score, if we just test it against AI score, we can see what we will have. So we are just going to have reports and then new one and analyze it. I think it will show us artificial intelligence as well using uh, AI Detector Pro. This can be paraphrased and backed up, but this is just an example. So literature reviews need some types of uh, background uh, reading. It's a self-development process. It's not just uh, something that we will write, but it's something that will tell you what uh, the state of the art is. So here you can see the 98% score of the bar output as well. It can be uh, paraphrased and the AI score can decrease. So by just selecting the paragraphs and rewriting them using the suggestions, when we rescan, the AI score may drop down. So this is like uh, one of the advantages of uh, AI Detector Pro, as you can see. So the three boats provide us with AI scores. So ChatGPT, as I said for, seems to be providing good references. And with new prompts, it can just rewrite this. It can even provide tables. So put these theories in a right table. So here you can see the tables, the list of theoretical model, theory main proponent here, brief description. So it gives us some templates. And if you are going to use a quantitative approach, I have some uh, examples like this one. You need to have your research model, conceptual model, along with the hypotheses. Um, different types of hypotheses uh, that correspond to different types of variables like IV, DV, mediation, moderation. These, of course, can be edited by removing them. Here we have the research procedures. Uh, then we have the uh, statistics along with the literature that supports statistics, which is real li literature. And then we have goodness of fit measures in case you are doing what we call model testing using quantitative research designs. Then we have uh, the hypothesis testing table and real references at the end, along with an appendix with questionnaire to test the variables because most researchers sometimes do not have this alignment between their research model, their questionnaires, their hypotheses and their variables. So they just keep asking questions that they think they, 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 they are important without being, let's say, coherent and cohesive when it comes to whole structure. So this guideline or this template can help you, let's say, follow a certain uh, pattern and to have consistent trend with regard to your research, especially if it is quantitative. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. Till then, see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.